Mark, I would say another important game, but I suppose they all are at this stage, aren't they? Certainly, very important. Every game, every every game gives us a chance to get points, and that's what it's about at the moment. And how pleased were you with the way that the players got back on the bike in terms of results against Grimsby midweek? Yeah, the the the, the, the result was key. Um, yeah, we we want to try and play well, but after Saturday, the result was was. Was of paramount was paramount to, to what we needed to do, and the three points were, were welcome and, and deserved. And looking at where Stephen and are on the table, obviously you can't do too much about teams around you, but actually this is one way you can impact on one of the teams sort of chasing you. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's a good game and one we're looking forward to. Um, Stevenage have done really well this season, and um, uh, the, the manager D, Dino in his first season has done a terrific job. So we're we know it's going to be a really tough game. They're they're very well organised. They're very strong. They're very powerful. So we know that it's, uh, we're going to be have to be ready and, and ready to scrap and fight for everything if we're going to get something. And how much do you and the players relish the fact that you've got the best away record in League Two? And you know, is that something that obviously you sort of you look to protect and, and build on? Yeah, I think I think we we enjoy playing away from home. You know we. Um, we've got so we've got a really good home record, Steve uh, away record. Stevenage have got a really good home record, um, so it should be a cracker hopefully. And uh, but like I say, we enjoy playing away from home. Pitches are nice and slick and firm, and we can we can get our passing game going. Christian Doidge back among the goals midweek. Do you feel now that you've got the old Doidge back? If ever there was a time where where maybe you know. Circumstances were just sort of taking the edge off him, perhaps. Yeah, I think I think it, it I think it would have taken the edge off anyone. The the, um, the dilemma he found himself in to to have to have a deal that he thought was guaranteed and which would meant he would probably never never have to work again. Um, taken away from you in such ridiculous circumstances takes some getting over, no matter who you are. But the strength of his character was there for everyone to see on Tuesday. He needed to get Saturday out of the way, which was a bit of a circus. And um, and uh, he bounced back on Tuesday and, and got two typical Christian Deutsch goals. And have you seen anything in him that says you know, there's someone who's actually played at a higher level and you know, developed his game as well? No. I think... Um, I think it might have damaged him a little bit going to a team where he's not getting any chances. He's not getting all he's basically doing is chasing and running because it's a, it's a team that's struggling in the championship and it's basically about damage limitation. So Christian needs to be in a team where he's getting provided with lots of chances and lots of balls being passed across the six yard box. But the way that he plays, the way that he moves, he makes those chances, doesn't he, as well? He, he does, but people have to get the ball there for him. Um, the one thing you know about him is he's always going to be in and around the, the area where the ball's going to be. Do you sense as well that him and George Williams are beginning to show an understanding? Because on paper, if those two could you know, build that understanding, you'd have some partnership, wouldn't you? Yeah, they're two very good players. George is, George is an amazing talent and um, he's a Welsh international. And um, he, he started to show over the last few weeks what a real good player he could be for the football club and I think there's a bit of telepathy, chemistry building building there but we've got we've got four or five good strikers. Yeah, I suppose you don't mind who's scoring the goals as long as no, they are. Certainly that's 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 key. You know we on Saturday was probably I would say probably one of our best performances of the season. And we only scored one goal where we needed to score from different areas. We had chances from, from different areas of the pitch to put that game to bed. You looked after Rhys Brown for the last half hour on Tuesday. Touch of flu, how's he? He's all right. He's uh, had a couple of days, good sleep and rest, and um, he'll be fine. And obviously, you've got Lloyd James to come back into the mix as well, having had a bit of a, a rest from starting. So decisions with him and Paul Digby as well. That's right. It's hard work playing in midfield. You know, it, it, it's the engine room of the team, and you have to run up the pitch, down the pitch, across the pitch. So you're you're in the engine room. It's hard work. Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So it's important that those areas of the pitch where we're fresh and, and we have plenty of legs in there. Everyone else okay? 
apart from Dale Grubb, everyone's fine, yeah. And any news on when Dale might be back fitting in the mix? He's still, I think it was four weeks, two weeks ago, so two weeks.